Hi, beautiful. Today is basically hairdresser appreciation day. We're watching some incredible hair transformations done by professionals. And today's video is focused specifically on color corrections. And I can't wait to be satisfied and to show you what kinds of things you can accomplish if you go to the right person and the reason why there are hairstylists in this world. Let's check them out. Up first, we have a video by Guy Tang. So we have a hair disaster. Oh, she's a natural blonde. Whoa. I thought that was artificial color near her scalp. That is insane. What? Her natural blonde color. So let's try to get this all blonde so we can do something fun. Oh God, the only person who could fix this is Mr. Guy Tang. This is scary because if you make any wrong move, her hair is going to melt off. Her ends are already so compromised. So I put a hair color remover. It only removed a little bit. It's still orange, but it removed a lot of the excess darkness. So most likely I'm gonna go back in and use a bleach. I just got done with the hair color removal process. We got really far already. This is exciting. The fact that he's gotten this much color out with just a color remover and it looks better now than it did before. That is so cool. I'm gonna have to remove this band here. So I'm gonna put lightener with 40 volume with a little bit of Olaplex in there so that way I can dissolve the old dyes. So let's get started. I probably already used 30, but see there's all different ways you can get to the end result. All just depends on if you're using foils, if you're not using foils, how much time you're leaving the lightener on for, how fast you work. These are all things that might change what developer you might use. I'm gonna apply the lightener just on that band at first and then I'm gonna swipe it through later. Okay, I want to saturate just a little bit, but I don't want to go up to a regrowth because it's already blonde. So I'm just touching that band. And my goal is to get it up to a level 9 at the most because I'm gonna put another color over it Our goal is to turn her maybe like a bright red, orange, and yellow, maybe pinks, we don't know Ooh, I hope they do pink Zone 2, which is the mid shaft, I used the lightener with Olaplex 40 volume developer Now on her ends, I kept her ends away I'm gonna apply 20 volume, which acts like a 10 volume Or even less, because I'm, I'm gonna use Olaplex to really soften the product Because her ends are a little bit frazzled because she's been box coloring her hair. So he mentioned that she's been box coloring her hair too. <laughs> Oh god, you really got into this, didn't you? I'm gonna decide whether I'm gonna go back and hit her regrowth, her root area. I'm not sure, just to brighten it up a little bit. But I kind of like the fact that it's a little darker. So I may keep that shadow there. So when I place the final color over, we create a nice shadow root uh, from her natural coming onto the brighter color. So I may just leave that alone and just brighten up the ends. He's leaving the ends to last because he does not want to break anything off. And he's putting a gentle formula on the ends in order to make sure that they stay. Because they're not healthy, but... I love that. And that's it guys. I just kind of let it sit in for five minutes. I'm gonna eyeball her to make sure everything kind of left out evenly. And then we'll continue with our Olaplex number two treatment again. And then I'm gonna put the final color on there. He's getting an incredible lift so far. He's gonna have such a beautiful palette to do whatever she wants. Pretty cool, huh? Just a little Olaplex and some bleaching action and a little color removal. And here we are. Whoa. So I mix a whole bunch of different colors, different Ooh. ratios, different Ooh, brands, I love different it. things, just to see what we can do and create Mikey's hair. So far, we put the foundation down, and we're gonna put more color in and see where this is gonna take us. I got done doing this amazing color melt. There's so many different colors going on. This is the most gorgeous color combo I've ever seen. Oh, I I'm excited. Shut up! Shut up! Shut. up. Uh, you were kind of surprised, weren't you, Mikey? <laughs> what is this sorcery? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see how I came in here today? Did you see? That was today. How is that even possible that that's, that's her hair? I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's Olaplex. I don't know. But it works, and that's all that matters. Yeah, this and... feels amazing. That was literally wild. How did you accomplish that? I would have literally been like... <laughs> I'm retiring. Like, nothing's gonna top that. That was so incredible. Up next, we have a video by Chuck Edwards Hair. She is going to be going from this kind of golden color that she's got going on right now to something a little more natural, maybe a little more towards the line of silver. Um, she does have a lot of color in here from where we had previously colored. Wow, it's gonna be so difficult to get all that color out and make it silver. If you're not a hairstylist, 
This probably looks like not a big deal, but it's gonna be. She has many different colors going on. She has gray roots. She has, I think it's a level six or five midsection. Then she has like a kind of highlights on her ends. Things are a little more warm. It's gonna be a whole project getting all this out. You can see she's got quite a bit of silver at her root. There's a little bit of dark left, but not a lot. We're going to try and lift out this dark color first. She has beautiful silver hair. Like it is um, almost 100% gray. And then I'm gonna slowly move onto the blonde area to try and lift those out to as light as possible. So he is going in there and we are starting with that lightener. He's going almost up to the root, but basically just focusing on getting that darkness out, which is the biggest task of all. And he's doing this beautiful lightning method where he is doing every little strand of hair. Do you see how small those slices are? You need that to penetrate through all the layers of the hair or else you're gonna get spotting and it's going to be a mess and it's gonna be so ugly. You need to get that lightener in there and you need to get plenty of lightener on that hair. Oh my God, I can't wait to see how magical this is. You guys, can you see how freaking pretty this is? We just need to get these ends lifted and boom. That color lifted right out of her hair. He definitely knows that he got lucky on that one. It already looks incredible. Like I can already see with her complexion that this is going to be way better for her than what she was doing before. So now he rinsed her hair and did the toner at the sink. He did some conditioning treatments, some shine treatments, a couple of toners, a purple shampoo. It was a lot and you're gonna have to do a lot if you're trying to do something like this. How long are you here? Oh my goodness. Uh, I think, you know, if you with the toner, I think I can do that. Oh, so satisfying. Look at that color. Look at the shine. It's like a pearly silver. Ooh. Oh my God. What I love about this is that she's gonna have such an easy time keeping up with it because her hair is already naturally silver. Pop in a little purple shampoo in there once in a while and um, she'll be good to go. This looks so magical. That transformation literally could not have come out better. I love when people bring down their natural gray color and do it all over and get rid of that artificial color. It's so satisfying to watch. <gasps> Mom, you look amazing. That color correction was magical. I loved it. This video is by Hippie Hair Painter. Oh my God. I wanted to explain my process and kind of go more in detail about what I was doing. So let's go. So I decided to go in with a full platinum card technique, which is basically where you just foil every single hair on the head for maximum lift. Holy sh! Try it blonde AF lightener throughout the whole head and I alternated with 10 volume and 20 volume for the entire back. How did that happen? And obviously I used the 20 volume huh? on the dark pieces. And oh my light. god. Um, I did okay, <sighs> can we just unpack this really quick? She clearly has stripes. She also looks like she has artificial color. It could also be her natural color in between the highlights. I hope it's in her natural color. She'll have an easier time lifting that out obviously. But everything is so uneven and so crazy that it's gonna be so difficult trying to lift out this darkness in between. Oh my God. So she's going in there and she's picking out every single dark strand. I don't want to be her. I don't want to be doing this. I mean, but she is doing it. She's going in there and she's doing her very best to avoid relightening those already light pieces. But some of them do need more lightening because some of them are yellow. This is the issue. It's like even the highlights are not lifted to a pale yellow, which it needs to be in order to go, you know, platinum blonde. That's an issue because she's probably gonna have to use two different lighteners. She's gonna have to section out every piece, divide the yellow pieces from the black pieces, use the different lighteners on both of them. And then she's gonna have to go back and do all the roots as well. And also leave out the over-processed pieces at the same time. If that sounds like a headache to you, it is. And at that point, I decided to go ahead and rinse her. So of course we rinse, shampoo, condition, all that good stuff. And then on damp hair, so for the root, I use um, Shade TQ 5N in the front and 4N in the back. Oh my God, it already looks so much better. Obviously some of you are probably looking at this and being like, Brad, it looks like yellowy noodles. That is the best case scenario. And after she tones it, hopefully it's a lot better, but this is a good even lift for what she came in with. And we're probably not gonna get perfection here the first time. This is a huge project. You can only expect good, not great, where she came from. For the ends, I used 7P. 9T and just a dash of 8WG. Oh my god. Yes! 
It looks luxurious, a thousand times better. Is it perfect, perfect? No. Is it gonna keep getting better the more she goes back to the stylist? Yes. Thank God for that stylist. They performed uh, f work. Is that even the same person? Like, how is that even possible? Even the haircut, what was going on with the haircut? She fixed the haircut too. This hairstyle is so laid. Incredible. This video is by Bobby Hair Studio. This one's a little bit different today. What it's about is how to do a color correction from start to finish. So immediately we're starting off with a copper red. If she's trying to get white blonde out of this, oof, it's gonna be hard. Because the plan is to bleach her head out entirely, drop a root and retone her. What you need to know before you start a process like this is that we did do a test strand the night before. She's also been informed that the bottom four to five inches of her hair completely melted off in the test strand. So she knows she's going to have a lot of heavy duty damage and a big cut, but that's okay because she knows that and still consented to go forward with the process. They said that they did a test strand, which, mm, Yes, love a good test strand. You wanna know what you're getting yourself into before you get yourself into it. And also, they found out when doing the test strand, two to four inches of her hair like melted off, which sucks. But like, at least they know going into it that there's going to be some hair melting and she is willing to put up with it. Sometimes you're willing to do anything to get the look. I've separated her hair into four quadrants and I'm starting with the back like I always do with my bleach. I'm using Blonde Me with 20 Vol. And what I'm doing is I'm applying from a quarter inch away from her root where the red starts all the way to about the middle and in the middle is where she's had old bleach about a year and a half ago. We're gonna see such great results, I already know, because this woman has fine hair and this stylist is doing paper thin sections. I'm avoiding those previously bleached ends right now, but I will be going over them later. And the reason is the middle of her hair has never been bleached, so it's healthier, but it's also had a lot more color on it. So the cuticle of her hair is actually going to be a lot more closed up and more difficult to penetrate through with lightener. So that's why we want more time on that middle area because it has virgin hair underneath. Do you hear all the science that goes into being a professional hairstylist? She knows that the mids are gonna be a little bit more stubborn because they're healthier and that color is not gonna lift out as fast. So she's waiting to now color the ends for later. That way everything lifts the same level at the same time. There's so many layers of red in this hair. Plus my client actually did three color remover services on herself. This is important because it opens up the hair cuticle and allows the larger color molecules to drop out of the hair before we even do a bleaching service. Wow, she even did color remover before even going to her appointment. So her hair was dark darker red than this. Oh, I really hope they get it to blonde. After her mids have almost finished processing, they're about a level eight right now. I like to go through and pull the foil away slightly to tap onto the root. She's waiting until the mids and the ends lift to a level eight before then pulling down the foils and retouching the root. That way, when the ends reach a level 10, the roots do as well at the same exact time and everything comes out super even. This avoids you having to do multiple processes and shampooing the hair, coming back to the station, drying it, applying the roots, going back, shampooing it. That's a lot of work. You wanna do everything all at once. If you can time things correctly, you can accomplish everything at once. So my assistant just left in those foils on the side there until they were fully done processing. Then we check the ends and now we're rinsing her out. Ooh, it's the rinsing process. And I make sure that I've completely rinsed out all of my bleach. Wow. And then I do two shampoos and then after that, it's time to tone. So because I was running short on time today, we decided to do the cut first. Wow, that's impressive. The fact that they've gotten this light already, that's pretty good. With the right toner, this is going to be magical. So as you can see, she still has orange about a quarter inch away down the rest of her uh, hair shaft. And that's from her old color still staining, even though we did three color removers and a full bleaching over. This color is so stubborn, for better or for worse. I mean, you want to stain your hair, but also, when you try to lighten it, it's like, nah. Once I'm done cutting, I make sure I measure everything and then we're gonna be doing the layers in the back. It's important to note that I do put on my root shadow before on my, I put on my toner. I feel like the root shadow needs a little bit longer to process and then I can smudge that softer, lighter toner into the ends. Now I love that she's going with a root shadow. It always just makes things look a lot more even. It's like a sort of weird kind of natural. Like you know this person's hair is not naturally this light, but it gives you sort of that natural effect that just looks so beautiful. And what I'm putting on her roots today is Schwarzkopf. I needed those warm colors to fill in her root and I need the cool colors to cancel out the warm tones. Oh really yes, oh yes. These colors work together really beautifully. <gasps> Shut the f 
Epcot. This is our final result. And because she has beautiful, resilient Spanish hair, it dried up gorgeously. That is a huge transformation. I mean, her hair was like, copper and the end result she had the most beautiful platinum hair i want that color that was incredible and i'm so surprised that all happened in one session Whew. Ooh. Wow, that was satisfying. I just wanna say also, if you're a hairstylist watching, please lift up your other hairstylist friends or hairstylists you see online. I wanna make this world of hair even more just positive. There can be some drama in the hair world and you know, a lot of like, I could do that better or I could have done that differently. Instead of doing that, let's lift each other up and be like, you rock. I love you hairstylists out there. I love doing hair and I know you guys do too. And you know, it's just a wonderful world to be in to make people happy and to fix a horrible situation and make it a beautiful masterpiece. It is so satisfying and so fulfilling. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on my social media handles. If you'd like to shop my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so right down below. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.